So welcome aboard Blue Dancer, our Moody 425. Um, she's a center cockpit boat, so um, one of the benefits of a center cockpit boat, although you get the smaller cockpit, is that you have this, um, this great aft deck space here. Um, we have a little sunbed you can put there, and what's so cool about that is it means you got two zones really on deck. We, we tend to have like a wet zone at the back for a whole bunch of activities and it also means then that uh, you know for swimming and stuff it also then means you keep the cockpit dry somewhere for people lounge around read books etc and um, it's good kind of having the two little different zones. So we make our way into the cockpit. Um, we've got the iPad here at the helm which is great. Um, plenty, uh, plenty of space for a few people to sit around. Got the cockpit table up here. Um, in addition to the iPad, we've got all our, all our instruments up there. Um, we've also got a cockpit remote for the anchor windlass in addition to our other remote and the foot controls up the front. Um, it's really handy in the med when you're doing a lot of med mooring when you just need to take the anchor in touch, you know, just to pull her off the, uh, off the key. So coming down now into our um, into the cabin, you can see um, yeah. So there are little custom cushion covers that we we knocked up. Um, like I said, previous videos, it's you know not the most professional job in the world, but we like it. We think it makes it nice and spacious and open, and didn't take long. wasn't that hard to do really. We've got the drop leaf table, which is great. Um, set the kids up there for school when you can still have access through to the V berth. Then as we come around here to starboard, we have the nav table, the piece de resistance, uh, the brain centre of the boat as it were. So we've got a VHF there, we've got a handheld VHF, um, the EPIRB's just over here behind me on the wall, um, got all the electrical controls for the 12 volt and the 220 volt systems, um, got our nav tech, we've got um, a digital barometer there, we've got a backup GPS there, although we've got the NAVT running upstairs. Got the AIS receiver, um, that hole is for the HF that um, is sitting here waiting to be installed, so I'll, I will get round to that shortly. Uh, get that all hooked up um, and we're hoping to put a Pactor modem on that. Um, get all that back installed on the boat. Coming round to port, we have the, uh, the galley area. which is great. I've um, got a gimbal stove here, um, two burning gimbal stove and oven. Got the sink, so at the sink we've got uh, seawater, so that's just complete um, sub on demand supply of seawater because there's plenty of water in the sea so we can just use that if we just need to rinse stuff. Got the pressurized water um, and then we've got a foot pump here for the pressure tank as well so if we're on passage um, you know we can be very uh, very careful of how we use that fresh water just by using the manual foot pump and turning off the pressure water. Now as you come back through here you'll see the aft head uh, reasonable size aft head. Um, it's got a little shower screen, everything here as well, so that you can divide it up. Has got the shower in here, and then coming through here is the master bedroom, the piece de resistance of a center cockpit boat. Um, it's yeah, quite a quite a decent size, spacious queen bed there, um, which is really good. Um, we really like it. Um, coming around through the aft cabin back that way then you'll see we've got the, uh, the kids bunks so that's their little world on there not made up at the moment currently uh, storing a Jenica on Sophie's bunk but um, yeah I've got the two little kid bunks there which is great gives them their own cool little space and then forward of course we have uh, the V-berth um, at the moment currently used to store the Genoa until the Genoa goes back up onto the Fela but it's a reasonable size there got hanging lockers here that's a currently spare life jacket storage um, I've got these fans in here the uh, the Heller fans are great they do a great job of cooling down the cabins over here to starboard 
We've got our second head. Uh, again, it's got a shower. Um, not as big as the aft head, but it's big enough that you can um, have a bit of a shower in there if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a tour through our Moody 425 Blue Dancer. Um, why did we pick a Moody? Uh, why did we pick the 425? Um, she's just, as much as we kept looking at boats, and we looked at boats for a very long time, um, she just ticks every single one of our boxes. She's the, the best compromise. Um, 42 feet is a perfect size for us. Um, we love the build quality of the Moody yachts. Um, you know, it's a really active owners association. Um, you cannot beat for the size of boat the amount of accommodation that is on this boat. Um, you just can't match it, I don't think. Um, with the big double aft, the bunks, um, then the V-berth, and then where I'm sitting here in the saloon, you can also turn this into a double if you want, and you can actually sleep someone on the pilot berth opposite. Um, for that, you know, for a cruising family, it's it's just unbeatable. Um, Design-wise, they're a really moderate yacht. Like, they're surprisingly fast for a cruising boat. Um, yet you know well built stable um you know good heritage um and yeah just absolute mile crunches so uh, yeah we love all that i mean we looked at a lot of boats we um we toured with a lot of different angles and we just kept coming back to the moody 425 um probably not coincidentally there was a family owned this boat um not the last owner but the owner previous was a family from Australia that actually had cruised around the Med for three years. So, um, you know, we, we kind of ended up knowing of this boat. Um, and yeah, we just kept looking and looking and just kept coming back to a Moody 425. Anyway, um, that's it. I hope you like the little sneak peek around the boat. Um, if you're considering Moody yachts or you have a question about um, the 425 or anything like that, feel free to hit me up with a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks guys.